nice to see you again. This video is going to cover a few tips on how to keep kids focused in class. My first tip is something I use often in class. It's to use your body. <laughs> We help use our body to keep their interest. Maybe we're giving high fives, high tens. Yay, we're celebrating. We could be pointing over here, over there, bringing their attention back. But also our bodies help communicate words. Maybe we're breaking up a word and putting it back together again. Maybe we're counting out syllables or words in a sentence. So use our bodies, be creative with it. <laughs> Students really respond well to this approach. As you're starting out at first, it might feel a little awkward if you're not used to using your body to teach in this way. Think about ways that you might get a student's attention in class. You can literally go up and tap them on the shoulder, come and talk right next to them. In an online classroom, we need to think about it in a different way. So using your body to get their attention, to cheer them on, to let them know it's your turn or that you're listening. Another go-to that I like to use is my camera space. <laughs> if you have students that are having trouble focusing and you come a little closer in your camera space, they know you're paying attention. Sometimes students want to know that you're focusing on them, that you're not forgetting about them, you're not distracted, they're working really hard and you're saying, I'm close because I see you doing a great job, wonderful job. Also use your camera space because you can move from left to right. You can do a little dance. This goes along with that body movement, right? Use that camera space, use your body together. <laughs> even better. <laughs> but we want to use our camera space because that movement will help draw them in, will help draw their focus back to you as you guide them back to the lesson, as you're using your body to help describe the language and what's going on and what they need to focus on. My third tip that I want to give today is to use your voice. No one wants to listen to a teacher that talks the same monotone voice. I know it's early in the morning, but this is really hard for students to listen to. <laughs> we want to invite our students in our class. We want to use an inflection in our voice when we talk to them. It is more inviting to them. If when you put emphasis on certain words, it will invite them to listen to you. It will bring them back. So use your voice and that could be in emphasizing a certain word or just to get their attention. You might use your voice to call their name. This is Momo. Momo, Momo, your turn. Use your voice. It might mean that you sing a song, la 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 la. <laughs> or it might mean that you just say, great job, keep going. You've got to use it for that encouragement. Those three tips are some of my top go-tos. Use your body, use your camera space, and use your voice. These are all tools for you to help keep your students engaged and to help teach them. It's not just for engagement, it's also to help teach them a language. I hope this helped. Thanks for letting me share a tip with you today. Bye for now. Oh, and put your tips in the chat box below. We'd love to hear what you like to do.